Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I got a voicemail. Call this number. All right, sir. Uh, what time did you exactly receive the call? The time was 3.30. All right, sir. And along with the call, did you receive any kind of reference number or case file number? Nah, I didn't hear one. And did they tell you what was the call regarding about, sir? Something about my Social Security was abused or misused or something. I, I, abused? Uh, yeah. So may I, may I know your first and last name? Yeah, first name's Kenny, K-E-N-N-Y. What's your last name, sir? Lichter, L-I-C-H-T-E-R. L-I-C? T-H-E-R. And sir, can you please verify me your current zip code? 13118. All right, 13118, right, sir? Pardon me? 13118, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. All right, so just be on the line. I'll go ahead, pull up your profile, and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay. And I'll explain you what was the call all about, sir. Okay. Just be on the line. Okay. Hello, sir? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm not able to open up the profile because I can't find the profile up here. So in that case, can you just verify me your social security number? Yeah, zero. So I can pull up your profile. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. All right, so uh, just give me a second here, okay? Okay. Hello, are you there, sir? Yeah, I'm here. All right, sir, so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and read out the case file which is under your name and explain you each and everything about this case. So first of all, what I want you to do is grab a piece of a pen and a paper so that you can write down my name and my federal that ID number. Okay, go ahead. All right, first of all, you can note down my first name. My first name is Tim, T-I-M, Tim. Tim. Woods, last name is Woods. W O O G S Woods. Okay. And my federal batch ID number will be T as in Texas, X as in X ray, seven O O one O. Okay. And I want you to note down your case ID number. Okay. Your case ID number will be D C one seven seven one. Okay. All right, sir. And before I go ahead, and I want you to keep this paper safely with you after that, because you will need it for the future reference. Okay? Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll I'll go ahead and pull out the case file and read it in front of you, which is under your name, sir. So, but I need to be sure that I'm talking to the right person in this particular case, as this is a case about identity theft. So, sir, can you just verify me your date of birth? Three sixteen nineteen fifty. I, I beg your pardon. Three sixteen nineteen fifty. All right, three sixteen nineteen fifty, right? Uh huh. All right. So, sir, like, well, now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and read out the. Why well, I explain you first? Let me tell you, sir. Do you know what does identity theft means? It means somebody stole somebody's identity, I believe. Yes, sir. You have been a victim of an identity theft. So uh, someone has stolen uh, your identity, uh -uh. and someone has got hold of your social security number, and he or she has been doing this kind of criminal activities behind their back in the state of Texas, and doing this kind of criminal activity. So do you know anything about it, sir? No, no. Not we do either. not, right? No. That's what, sir. We have checked your past records as I already told you and we found out that your banking contains genuine records and your social has no other complaints in the past. No, nobody that ever complained main... about my social security number, no. That's what, that's what the only reason we are trying to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry for that. So, so let me explain you what All you're right. going to do. Okay. So, so what we'll do is, sir, uh, we will okay. be cancelling your old social security number. And Suck we will what? Be, so we will be cancelling your, we will be cancelling your old social security number. How and, can sir, you do that? So let me explain you, sir. Then you can. Oh. 
So we, oh, okay. So we will oh. go ahead and cancel okay. your old social security number. And we will be re okay. regenerating uh. a new social number under your name. And there will be a legal tax advisor as well as a social security officer at your doorstep with physically within next 24 hours. And they will be coming with a new what are they, what, yes. Why are they coming to my doorstep? I don't understand. I will explain you, sir. Listen to me. They will be coming okay. at your doorstep. Okay, okay. With, uh, at my doorstep, okay. With your new social yeah, with, security card. With, with new, new number, okay. With a new social security card. And a legal tax yes. advisor uh -huh. will help you link. What do I need a tax advisor for? I don't know. Sorry, because for. he will help you link whatever genuine things you have with your old social security into your new one. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, yes. Okay. That is the uh, let me tell you, sir. That is the only cooperation with federal government are seeking from you. Um, and why is okay. that? Because once we cancel your old social security number and give you a new one. We will be able to help you safeguard yourself from this kind of activities in the future. And also, once we cancel your old social security number and give you a new one, that person won't know that you have got a new social security number. So, sir, okay. like we will be able to track the person down who is doing these particular activities. So, is that okay for you, sir? Okay. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Sir, yeah, just a minute, just a minute, okay. just a minute. Sure. Polly, Polly, be quiet. Stupid bird. Okay, go ahead. So, sir, now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and read out the case file which is under your name. So, I will highly appreciate. Do not interrupt me in between while I'm reading these lines. After that, I will give you fair enough chance to speak and raise your questions, alright? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Alright, sir, so investigation started okay. when we found okay. an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car. Texas? Yeah, Texas, south border of Texas. Oh. And the car was 2015 huh. model Toyota Corolla, which was booked under your name and your personal identification. And the, oh, I didn't rent it, sir. I'm in New York. That's what Why would I rent you a car know, in listen, Texas? Sir, listen to me. After that, after that, I'll give you time to speak. Okay. All right. But you I found a 2015, 2015 model white in color Toyota Corolla, which was booked under your name Corolla. and your personal identification. Okay. And there was one more address, okay. which was linked with the title of the vehicle, and that was the city of Rollet, which was raided by our U.S. Marshals. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence, but we have recovered. Where they went. There was no one inside the residence. The house. Oh, okay. okay. But we have recovered. It's empty. Then. Yes, we have. Okay. Listen to me. We have yeah. recovered few pounds. I, okay. We have recovered two, two pounds two of pounds, marijuana okay. and few documentation uh, from marijuana. Yes, you, listen to me, sir. After that, okay. you can speak. Sir, why are you yelling at me? Sir, because what did I tell you? After this, I will give you fair enough chance to speak. I'm, while I'm reading well, out, you, please do not interrupt you, me in between, you, sir. I tell you, sir, you're. Sure, you work for the government. You shouldn't be yelling at me. But I know that, sir. Okay. But I told you, sir, this line has been federally recorded and monitored, sir, and will be played inside the court. Could I speak? Could I speak to your supervisor? Yes, sir. Once I'm reading, I'm done reading out your case file. I will transfer this call to the supervisor. I'm very, very. I'm very, very upset with this I'm yelling sorry, at sir. me, sir. sir I'm, going to, I'm going to speak to your supervisor. Sir, I'll tell you that right sir, now. Sir, sir, let me let me just complete my part here. So, sir, okay, as, I well, you, okay. as I told you, the yes. house was raided by our U.S. Yeah. Marshals, but unfortunately, nobody was there. Nobody though, right? was inside nobody the residence. But, sir, nobody we have recovered there. few pounds of marijuana and few documentation from financial institutions such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, TD Bank, USA Bank, Wells Fargo Bank, Citizens Bank. And the 11 more bank sure. account, which has your name and your postal identification on it. And some documentation stating that hundreds and thousands of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally. It seems suspicious to us. That is the reason Me too. Yeah. we Social Security Administration of Texas has filed a case against you for money laundering as well as drug trafficking. But sir, as I... Against me? Yes, sir. Because your Social Security number was used. 
But sir, we. But you said I would. You said I had identity theft. That's yes, sir. That's what I'm telling you, sir. The after that, we checked your past records. We found out that you are a genuine customer of an American citizen and a law-abiding American yeah, I'm a citizen. Customer. Yeah. No, no sir. Yeah. You have been a law-abiding citizen, and your solution has just, two other just, complaints. Hold on. Hold past. on. Just a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. On. Let that fucking dog out, will ya? Okay, go ahead. So, we oh, check your past records and ask for FDIC. Your banking contains genuine records. FDIC? Yes. yes. Okay. Your banking contains genuine records and your social also has no other complaints in the past. That is the only... No. That is the reason, sir. We found out that you have just been a victim yeah. of an identity theft and someone has been doing this behind your back. So that is the only reason. Right, but you yes. said there's a case against me. Yes, sir. That is the only reason now what I'll do is, sir, I will go ahead and fill up an asset verification form. Let me tell you what is this asset verification form. Asset, okay, what, what is it? Asset verification form is the form which is used to distinguish which are the genuine things that you hold under your social security number and which has been bogusly opened under your number. So just be quick and honest okay. with me while I'm following our form. I will. Because I'm I, have to, yes, I have to forward it to the, my senior officer who will be taking care of your case and who is the main in charge of your case and will be talking to you shortly and also to a federal okay. federal courthouse. All right, sir? Sure. So well, first of all, all right. can you please verify me your current address? Yes, 100 Main Street. 100 Main Moravia. Street. Moravia. Moravia, New York. Main Street. Moravia, yeah. New York. Moravia. M O R A V I A, right, sir? Yes. All right. Yes. So, sir, uh, my first question for you will be: Have you ever been to state of Texas? Texas, no. You never been to state of Texas. I've been to Oklahoma. I, I've been to Oklahoma. You've been to Oklahoma, but you've never been to Texas, right, sir? Yeah. Not. He that, told me I was born there, but I really can't remember. All right. So do you know anyone who travels to Texas frequently? No, no, no. Can't say you do. All right. So, so uh, you don't know anyone, right? So, have you ever applied for any kind of payday loans where you provided your social security number? No, payday loans were a big scam. I would never do that. All right. So you never provided that, right? No, they're scams. All right. So, sir, that's fine. And, sir, I'm ask one other question for you will be, have you ever lost your wallet or your personal identification in the past? Uh, 1971, I lost it, but that was a long time ago. 1971, you lost your wallet, right? Yeah. And well, it could have been stolen. I was, I was in a gentleman's club. I don't know. I either lost it or... Or I was making it rain and somebody took my wallet. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that's fine. That's really cool. And so did you receive, like, uh, did you have your postal identification in there, sir? Yeah, I had my driver's license and my social security card. Did you put and, a complaint uh, against it, sir? I made a police report, And yes. did you go to the social security office about it? Yes. All right, that's fine. So, sir... Now, uh, as I told you, so, like, we have found more than 15 bank accounts, and the car which was rented was Toyota Corolla. So, sir, have you ever rented a car, Toyota Corolla, under your name? No, my wife did. Oh, right, your wife did. In fact, she's, no. she's, she's got one right now because uh, a street light fell on her car oh. and smashed through the windshield, so she had she got a rental car. Okay, that's fine. Until we get that back. Okay. So, so, may I know, like, do you have any cars under your name? Yeah, I got cars. May I know how many cars, do you, how many vehicles that you genuinely own under your name? Well, I, I have one. I have a... One, yes? A Ford F-150. One, one Ford? Ford F-1. One Ford F-150, 4 by 4 All right, Ford F-1. I got a lifted, lifted three inches, yeah. All right. So you have just one vehicle that is genuinely owned by you under your name, right, sir? No, no. Well, no, really. Then my wife's car, too. That's in both our names. Both the vehicles are in both our names. So, but do you have, do you, should, I, should I put in two vehicles out here? 
Would you? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Uh, do yeah, fast, right? I don't. I don't want to lie. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble That's for not right. telling you. Yeah, one is Ford, okay. and you know the another one, the model of another one is Toyota Corolla, right? No, no, no. She's got a Jeep Cherokee. Can you spell that for me? What is that? A Jeep Cherokee. Jeep. All right. So, so, Cherokee. Okay. <coughs> That's fine. Now, sir. Okay. All right. As okay. I told you, sir, we have found more than 15 bank accounts which has been opened under your name. See, sir, in this yes. recorded line, I'm not allowed to ask any kind of personal information from you, like your routing number, your account number, your card number, nothing. All right, sir? And so, sir. Okay, yeah, that, that's good. The, Go ahead. My, yeah, another okay. question will be, sir, as we have found more than okay. 15 bank accounts under your name, so do you have any genuine bank accounts that you bank with in the United States of America? Yes. May I know like how many genuine banks do you bank with? Do you bank with? I bank with one genuine bank. You just have one bank, right? Under your name? All right. Right. May I know like what's the name of the bank that you bank with, sir? Sir? Sure. TD Bank. TD Bank? Bank? Yeah. And all right, sir. Uh, may I know, like, what do you have in there? A checking or a saving? Both. Checking, saving, both, right? And that is the only. Uh, that is the only bank that you bank with, right, sir? Yeah, yeah, three bank. All right, and so now, uh, do you have any genuine credit cards that you hold under your name? I got a genuine Visa. Yeah. How many credit cards do you own, man, sir? One, a genuine visa is the only one I own. Well, can you spell it out for me, sir? Genuine? V-I-S-A. Visa, one visa, right? One visa. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, one visa, credit card. That's all you own under your social security, right? So do you receive social security benefits? Well, yeah, I'm 70 oh. years old. Well, you are retired, right, sir? Yes, right. I'm retired. And what about your Medicare? I get Medicare too. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get that. So you want that shifted to your new Social Security, I guess, sir. I what? Do you have I any? Didn't hear you. So I hope you want that in your new Social Security number, right? Well, yeah, I want That's it. What, so, <laughs> so, sir, like, That's a question. another question is: Do you have any 401k plans? Nah, geez, no. Nah. No 401k, right? No 401k, right? Nah. All right. So, and did you provide it? Do you have any stock markets where you provided your social security number? No. All right. So, all right. So that's all from my side. Now what I'll do? Okay, good. I will transfer this all asset right. verification form to my senior officer, and as well as the federal courthouse, and I will forward whatever the recording that is between you and me to the federal courthouse as well as senior officer, and. He or she will be taking care of your personal... I, uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to take care of what? They, they will help you with your new social security number, and they will also help you safeguard whatever okay. things you have. All right, sir? So just be on the line till I transfer this call to my senior officer, okay? Okay. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Just be on the line. Thanks for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to the senior investigation officer. This is Officer David Maxwell with my federal badge ID number. It's 625931. Let me repeat myself once again. Your call has been transferred to the senior investigation officer with a DEA. This is Officer David Maxwell with my federal badge ID number. It's 625931. I believe I'm speaking with Kenny Lichter, am I right? Kenny Lichter? Yes. How are you doing today, Mr. Kenny? Oh, I'm not too happy, <laughs> to tell you the truth, uh, David. All right. I do believe so. I, right. I'm, I, was, I was speaking to Tim Woods, and he was yelling at me on the phone. I don't think government employees should be yelling at, Who at, yell at uh, you? citizens. Who yelling at you, sir? He, Who Tim Woods yelled at me. He's my he said officer? I was talking to him. He said I was talking too much. I told him I was going to complain to his supervisor. Uh huh. He and he said he didn't care. Okay, not to worry about that, Mr. Kenny. I'm here to help and get you to give you all the information. Okay. Okay, but I'm still upset. 
All right. I do believe, sir, your social security number, it's 086-101-463. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, sir, let me ask you one thing. Did you ever lose your personal information in the past? I can see that you lost your wallet in 1971. You lost your wallet, right? Ni 1971, I lost it at a club. Okay. See, Mr. Kitty, why I'm asking that type of question? Because these criminals, they plan to take down your, all the information. They plan to take down your money. They plan to take down your your bank account because they have the each and every information. So that's the reason we don't want you to be in trouble. Why we don't want you? Well, to I don't want to be in trouble. Yeah. Why we are giving? Yeah. Trouble. Why we are giving you a call uh, today, sir? Because just your past yes. record with the federal government is very clean. There is no criminal yeah, background. I've never had federal. Yeah. No, I've no never been arrested by federal. And you are a law no, locally, of the country. Locally, so that's the yeah. reason we are giving you a call yeah. today. Okay? okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. So, sir, first of all, okay, in ahead. one bank, uh, you have one bank that is a TD bank, right? Right. That's the only bank I use. Okay. See, sir, in this federal recording line, we are not allowed to ask any personal information from your side. For example, we don't okay, want your correct. bank account number. We don't want your routing number. No. We don't want your bank information. We don't want anything from you. My job over here is okay, just correct. only a verification process to register under your name to attach any documentation. But once we are registered under your name to attach any documentation, we will fix an appointment for you with two legal officers who will be coming in your doorstep at your convenient day, at your convenient time. Yeah, Tim Woods told me all this, the two, that uh, they'd be coming to my doorstep in the next 24 hours. Yes, after the 24 walking hours, okay? Okay. Right. So right now, because right. Sir, I need to fill a form for you, because I need to forward all the information to the Treasury Department along with the courthouse, in TD Bank, okay. in TD Bank, do you have any saving in a checking account under your name? I got both. Okay, in checking account, approximately available balance, how much do you have right now? Probably 500. Sorry? 500. That is the maximum amount or that is your round figure? I said about 500. I don't know what it is exactly. Okay, in saving account? Probably 1,800. Okay, uh, what is the limit of your credit card? 5,000. Okay, the available balance? <clears throat> 5,000. The balance is 5,000, right? No, the available balance is 5,000. I mean, the balance, who, how much do you have the balance right now? I don't know which balance you're talking about, the credit balance yes, or the, credit, the old balance? Yeah, the, credit, the, the, the old balance along with the credit balance. I don't know anything on it. You didn't know anything about it? Pay it. Uh, I, no, I said I don't owe anything. I pay it off every month. Okay, in one visa credit card, how much do you have? 5000 Okay, that is, that still you have the money in your, in, in that one visa card, right? I don't think you understand the concept of how the credit card works. Yeah, yeah I got 5000 available to me. Oh. Okay, in Medicare? Yeah, I get Medicare. Okay, no 401k? No. Just be on the line with me. Let me forward all this information to the Attorney General, along with the courthouse. Holy he, shit. He will get back to you. I'm working on your case file, no need to worry, sir. Why I'm asking you this information? Okay. Why I'm asking you this information? Okay, okay. Because oh, that yeah. no one can take the money inside your no. social security number. That no one can take the money yeah, we from don't your want account. Nobody. So that's the reason I need yeah, to provide all the information either. to the courthouse along with the Attorney General, okay? Okay, tell Bill Barr. Yes, okay, go ahead. All right, just be in the line with me for a while. Let me walk on your paperwork. Okay. You there, you there sir? I'm here. Okay, how many credit cards do you have on the... One, one, one. visa. <clears throat> that, that yeah. One visa credit card, what? Yes. That is the balance over there. There is no balance. I don't owe anything. No balance? No. Balance is zero. Okay. Okay, in saving you told that eighteen hundred dollars and checking four hundred dollars, right? Right. Is there any four oh one K or IRA account? No, I already told you this. No, no you didn't tell me. I'm the I'm the senior officer who have to handle off your case. I just well you're you're David Maxwell, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I told you. No, sir. Okay.
Just be on the line with me. Like, I must have told, all right, I must have told thing, uh, Tim. Tim. You can do one thing because yeah, right now, ahead. because right now these corporates, they plan to take down all the each and every information. So now we need to secure each and every information which you have in your TD bank that is a checking account and a saving account. Because right now these, okay. because right now these criminals, they plan to take down your yeah. heart, yeah. Down your blood money. So that's the reason we need to Dumb secure. bastards. First of all, listen to me, okay. sir. Okay, I'll, now you're yelling at me. No, 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 no. Why do you, you people work for the government and you're yelling at me? Sir, first of all, listen to me, okay? I'm not yelling okay. at you. Okay, all right. Because we need to secure your money into a security, secure voucher. It's a federal voucher. It's a safety bond voucher that you can get any government certified store, which is nearest to your location. It's called a Target store, a Best Buy store, a Kruger store, Albertson store, Winn-Dixie store, Speedway gas station, a Safeway store. Winn-Dixie? I'm in New York. Do we know any Winn-Dixies? Sorry? I'm in New York. We don't have Winn-Dixie. Oh, okay. So which store do you have? We've got a Target. Okay, how far the Target from your location? Uh, two miles. Two miles. So you have to you have to drive over there, right? For what? You have to purchase an electronic federal security voucher. Where? Target? Yes. Because otherwise you will lose your money, sir. You you need to secure your money into a federal Why? voucher. Understood. Why don't I just take my money out of the bank and I'll keep it and it'll okay. be a lot easier. We don't have to fuck around with all this stuff. Okay, you want to go to the bank? Get my money and bring it home. But your bank will be frozen. Huh? Your bank will be I got a debit card. No. I got a debit card. With the help of your debit card, you can purchase those secure voucher from the Target. Because we need to secure your... Why do I have to do that? To Why don't I just need, get the money and bring it home? Because you need to secure your money into the federal voucher. Because I'm going to secure no it myself. Answer. How about that? Sorry? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to secure it. I'm securing it myself. Okay. I don't need nobody to secure my money. I'm 70 years old. I don't need nobody to secure my money. I can take care of my own money. But I'll tell you one thing, sir. If you didn't secure your money into a security locker, you will be going to lose your money by two minutes. Once this line will be disconnected... Two minutes? Yeah, once your line will be disconnected, my system will show a flat refusal that we plan to run away in this situation. Let me press my... The, the government... Listen to me, me tell you this. The government can't do anything in two minutes. Listen to me first, okay? Okay. Yeah. Because if you didn't secure this amount into a fed, federal federal voucher, you will lose your money. Because yeah. right now, these com criminals... They, they Not if I bring it home. If I get the money, bring it home. How am I going to lose it? Okay, you do whatever you want, sir. So my job is done. Just hang up the phone call. Let me take you further with your case, okay? Well, wait a minute. Before you hang up, I got to call you a benchode. Sorry? And a fucking scammer. I got to call you Sorry? a scamming bastard. Be before we hang up, I got to call you a scamming bastard. Now, say hello to everybody on YouTube, you stupid fuck. Hello, YouTube. There you go, buddy. Who are you? Goodbye, Who are you, stupid. Trilogy Media motherfucker? Or like a... Yeah. Are you Trilogy Media? Uh, or are you... Uh, yeah. What is that? What is the name of that guy, motherfucker? I don't remember. Yes. What guy? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking Kira about. Kira you fucking, Kira Boga, fucking jerk green. off. Pleasant Green, Kira Boga. Which one of that is you, asshole? Put a one kid, bitch. I'm not an asshole. You're the asshole. You're a fucking thief. You are a fucking 401k asshole. What's that mean, 401k asshole? That don't even make sense. Put, put even that, coming from you, that, it don't make put sense. Put that 401k and shove it up your ass, motherfucker. Yeah, I got one, though. You don't, That's stupid. Son. You ain't got nothing. You shit in the street. Hey, you're still there, stupid. Say something. Oh, scammer. Oh, fucker.